Hey folks, and welcome to CarStars' 10 Wild Facts about Richard's 67 Plymouth GTX in the 1995 movie, Tommy Boy. Fact number one. There were four 1967 Plymouth satellites wearing GTX badges used to portray the 67 GTX in the film, so no real GTXs were sacrificed, fortunately. One satellite was the pristine car showed at the start before any damages occurred. One was dedicated to the deer damage scene. Another for the hood flip up spin out scene. One with the baby gate door portraying the halfway destroyed car. And lastly, one portraying the car fully damaged with a tarp roof. Fact number two. Although played off within the movie as having a 446 pack engine, all four satellites actually had the more common 383 Commando engine dressed up as a 440 with a 3-speed torque flight automatic transmission option. Fact number 3. As for modifications and aftermarket parts, all cars received air shock raised rear ends, custom exhaust, and chrome Krager SS wheels fitted with BFGTA tires. Stunt cars had a few additional modifications such as the installation of a fuel cell, front towing brackets for capturing dialogue scenes via towing, and electric line lock brakes for skidding stunts. Fact number four. Only two of the four satellites were originally convertibles. The other two were hardtop models that they roughly saw the roofs off to look like convertibles for the more beat up versions of the car. Director Peter Siegel recalls slicing his hand on the jagged edges of one of the crudely sawed off roof cars. Fact number five. Although the majority of the deer trashing the car scene used an animatronic animal, the very last part of the scene when the deer was standing on the car and then jumped off was a real live deer. As per the animal coordinator for the film, deers are not trainable animals. So just capturing that one short scene with a real deer jumping off the car took an entire month to accomplish. They had to lure in a real deer by placing food in the car and then staking it out nightly while the animal became familiar enough with the vehicle to hop on top of it just so they could get that one small shot. Fact number six. The oil can left under the hood scene causing the hood not to latch and flip up on the highway was SNL screenwriter's Fred Wolf's idea. He mentioned to director Peter Siegel that this same situation really happened to himself once. Peter decided this would be a funny scene to incorporate into the film and they sure pulled it off well. Also, the door bending scene at the gas station was inspired by a similar situation that had happened to Peter once, so that one was his idea. Fact number seven. Captured the hood flapping up and down during the spin out scene, the car was put up on a large turntable device to simulate the spin out. Although the hood flapping was rigged up to be controlled by animatronics wirelessly, they couldn't get it to work correctly on the day of filming. So instead, they had special effects person Warren Appleby get into the trunk of the car to activate the hood motion at the queued time via directly wired controls, which he did successfully. However, Warren had motion sickness from the spinning and immediately vomited after exiting the trunk. Fact number eight. One of the stunt satellites used from the movie made a number of uncredited background cameos in some TV series, movies, and music videos. One such example is the 2011 Katy Perry music video entitled Teenage Dream. Fact number nine. One of the four satellites is currently in the process of being restored and is intended to be displayed in the Peterson Automotive Museum once completed. There is a dedicated blog to the rebuild that gets updated a few times a month if you want to follow its progress. The website is tommyboygtx.godaddysites.com. Fact number 10. Two of the screen used satellites were actually sold at public auctions within the last couple of years. One was sold at a 2021 Mecham auction for $66,000. The other was sold at a 2022 Barrett Jackson auction for $71,500. Well, there you have it, folks. Thanks for watching and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like what you saw here. You guys are all great. See you next time.